Hello, welcome to the Femench Lab. These are a series of videos where I try to teach you some of the things that I wish I knew before my first electronics lab. So today we're going to learn how to use the breadboard. This is a breadboard. It's very useful and you're going to use it in every single electronics lab. It's for prototyping because if you use a jumper like this, that it's just a cable, it's easy to connect between the dots, but it's also easy to disconnect them. A breadboard on the inside looks like this. So as you can see here, the dots in the center are connected vertically and there's a gap here that means that they're not connected. The ones on the outside are called the bosses and they're connected horizontally. This breadboard here, it's a long one and the lines here with colors means that this connection comes until here. So it's like having two of these. By convention, this blue line is used for ground and this red one is used for voltage. Breadboards come in different sizes and this one for example is a small one and you can use it to connect between them and expand your breadboard. Now we're going to do an example. I'm going to use this as 3.3 volts input and this whole line is now 3.3 volts. This is going to be ground. So in here, this whole line is now ground. I'm going to use an LED and remember that the short one is always connected to ground and the long one is always connected to the voltage. So I'm going to put it here in line 15 and this is line 45. I'm going to put it there. Uh, with an LED it's always better to use a resistor to protect it from current. And now if we put it in line 15 and connect it to ground, and this now goes to the 3.3 volts here and it works. So if I disconnect it from here and put it for example here, there's no light because in here there's no 3.3 volts. The connection goes until here, until the middle. Now you understand how the breadboard works. Hope this has been useful and see you in the next video.